Sandra, good morning. Good morning. Welcome to Leaders. Um, so you've just been in the job for just over a year now as CEO. Yeah. Um, what would you say your biggest achievements have been so far? Well, for sure, the big achievement for us is uh, to, to come back to UCL tournament. So it was a great result. It was part of our strategy since the beginning of the season. And to achieve a result was amazing. So very happy not only for us, but uh, also for our fan base. That's, uh, after uh, six seasons out of a, a major competition, uh, to come back is very important. Excellent. Yeah, you spoke a little bit about that, that rebuilding job you did, guys did there. Um, what did you focus on? How did you approach it um, from an organisational point of view to, to get back to the Champions League? OK, let me say the, the big uh, challenge for us was uh, to change the business model from a fam family-owned uh, company to an international uh, club. So it's a turnaround process that's the beginning in 2016 with a new ownership, Chinese ownership. Mm -hmm. And this is still in place because we need to improve again and to stay attached to the next, next challenge, looking to the future of the club. So uh, it's, it's a big, big uh, uh, fortune for me to drive this process and to, to work together with also Chinese ownership, which has a different cultural approach, but again, the passion they put into the business and the support they give to the club uh, give us also a lot of opportunity to, to enlarge our fan base in China and to, to increase our revenues and to, let me say, look uh, to the future in a more positive way. Definitely exciting times. Uh, what's it like working under new owners and Chinese in particular? No, let me say at the end, uh, the, we didn't uh, change uh, uh, so, so far our strategy because our strategy is pretty clear and I think that uh, is again to enlarge our fan base, to increase our revenue, commercial revenues and uh, to, let me say, increase our brand awareness. So uh, the opportunities to have uh, this kind of uh, new shareholders uh, in China with this great, great relation inside the China market open us a lot of doors in order to have a new partnership and sponsorship in this kind of market. You just touched on the, uh, the brand awareness part yeah. there as well. I mean, what, what does the Interbrand mean, mean to you? But Interbrand, uh, first of all, is, means uh, history and heritage from the past. Uh, but our mission now is uh, to put our brand uh, look into the future. And uh, the idea is to be more, let me say, uh, modern and uh, attached to also the Italian styles, uh, so attached to the fashion design. So the idea is to bring our brand to the future, uh, but keeping in mind our heritage. Excellent. Talk to us a little about the, um, the intermedia house that, that, you're, that you work on your organization. I mean, how, how and, and why have you been building it out? What's, what's the thinking around it? Uh, intermedia house was a key pillar of our strategy because the idea is uh, to keep uh, very close to the, to the club uh, our fan base, worldwide fan base. Not all the fans have the opportunity to come on Sunday or Saturday to the San Siro to have a fun experience in uh, life. And so the idea is uh, through the media house to, to create uh, all the digital content uh, and dedicated content for our fan base worldwide, keeping closer to the fan, to, to the club and so let me say, uh, give uh, the experience uh, for the, the fans that are far from Milan, it's Porto and San Siro, close to us. So the fan experience, uh, both on life and digital, for us is a key, key topic. Excellent. Did you foresee any, any challenges with, with Media House? No, the real challenges for us is to create innovative digital content. So this is the key topic because now everybody can create and produce digital content. But the quality of the, digit, of the content that you need to produce needs to be premium and to, let me say, to stay attached to the, to the club, to the players, and to give, uh, let me say, a different perspective of a daily life in, into the club. So I think that uh, the big challenge is the quality of the digital content. Fantastic. Thank you very much.